need your prayers for a few minutes and know that it's already been enough preaching that men and women will just take heed to it. That it could save the whole world already. Yeah, that's right. I know that it's been already a long day, but I'll just try to stand just for a, just for a minute or two. We don't, we don't, yeah, that's right, we brought our lungs. <laughs> Seemed like all morning long I've sat. Get, get this together on, so we need it. Sat in my seat and I thought to myself, trying to think what to preach on and it. Thought, well, you could go ahead and you could preach this sermon. You've preached that one before. and That would probably be good. And thought of another one, Brother Brandon, and thought, well, no, maybe I'll preach that one. But yeah. <laughs> and everything that I kept thinking is, I don't want to preach anything that I would have for me to say what I think right. would be good. Yeah. And my prayers, they quickly changed. And Begin to think, Lord, what would you have me? What what do the hearts of these men and women need this morning? What do you want me to preach? Yeah. Where are they at and what words? Don't let me hinder you this morning. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Haven't had a clue which way to go, but had <coughs> something weird, something I'm sitting there, just a quiet confidence that Lord, yeah. you're right here with me. <laughs> Yeah, don't know Lord. which way you'd have me to jump, but Lord, I'm ready to jump for you. <laughs> Sissy, I know that it doesn't seem like much, but Sister Emily back here, I believe her name is, and watched her come in from work, and we put her right to work singing, and no yeah. doubt her children this morning knew Mommy left, and she's already been at work. Yeah. And they knew maybe, maybe Dad had already told them, Mom's going to be at church, you'll get to see her. But what I thought was so pretty is when they begin to come in, got to watch that sister back there just singing away. Yeah. Thought, what are those little children right. going to remember? Yeah, Lord. Oh, what a testimony right point. there. Yeah. We think that what we do, it doesn't matter. Well, there's just a couple out. Let's go through the motions. Yeah. Don't our children deserve more than that this yeah, morning? Lord. And guess what? If you have oh, salvation... God. That's good and fine, but guess what? A sinner, men and women are dying and they're going to hell. Yeah. And they still need work to be done. Yeah. And I hope for whatever time that I stand before you, guess what? And guess what? All those great sermons I thought about preaching, uh, they can't do a thing if God's not in the mix. Uh, yeah. uh, this thing that we stand up here Sunday after, after Sunday, it's not about getting my name out. It, it's not about what can I do for you, but it's about a man. Uh, who's done so much for this world yeah. uh, that I would have men and women uh, begin to stand up week after week telling you uh, about goodness this morning. Uh, I have nothing new to say, but guess what? Uh, the Spirit is always new to me. Uh, it's not the words that's new, but guess what? Uh, like Brother Charlie said, he had confidence uh, that God would see him home. Yeah. Uh, but if he doesn't, he's, yes, uh, he's still all right. Do you know how the Bible words that uh, uh, three Hebrew boys stood uh, uh, yeah, at a king's yeah. feet, uh, 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 threatened, uh, if you do not bow down right now, uh, I'm going to kill you. Uh, he said, and what God is it that you serve that's yeah. going to save you today? Uh, I'm brethren, and I love yeah. the boldness yeah. of that man. Uh, uh, king, we don't even haste to answer you. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. answer you quickly. <laughs> My God, He is able yeah. <laughs> to deliver me today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but even if He doesn't obey, yeah. <laughs> we're still not going to bow before yeah. you. <laughs> I'm brother and I got news. <laughs> Our sermons are still being preached today. <laughs> Guess what, man? <laughs> and women that would look at this Word of God and say, <laughs> these things, <laughs> they don't have anymore. Guess what? Yeah. I'm brother and you're hearing the same stories preached <laughs> today as it was yeah. before. Yeah. Yeah. Same <laughs> testimony. Yeah, Lord. Worded different. 
Brother Charlie just preached that sermon. <laughs> As it applies to his life right now. Yeah. God is so good to us. You're looking at much like it seemed like Apostle Paul has been preached a whole lot the past couple yeah, of days. Yeah. yeah. And he said, I'm sinners, I am chief of them. <laughs> yeah. Brother, and I Not know was. how he feels. I know just how he felt. Because when I come to the Lord, I thought, I have a father who was awful good. Didn't really lie to people. Didn't cheat anyone. And I watched that man struggle and struggle. He couldn't come to the Lord. Because he looked upon himself, the devil, he'll use everything he can. And he'll put it in front of you. And he looked at himself and thought, Lord, Lord, I don't cheat anyone. I don't steal from anyone. Aren't I good enough? But I got news. Unless you submit to God, you are not good enough today. I'm running in high. I come to the Lord with a heaping pile of sins. Yeah. <laughs> Easy to see the bad things that I needed to get rid of. <laughs> Lord, I quit doing this and I quit yeah. doing that. <laughs> I'm running the Bible and puts it like this. <laughs> Jesus, He went into a man's house one time and it said a sinner woman heard that He was going to eat yeah. with them. Yeah. Yeah. And Brother Daryl touched on it yesterday. And Brother, she made it over to his house and it said when she entered the door right there that she come crawling to his feet yeah. sad her, the tears of her eyes it began to fall upon his feet and yeah. she began to dry it with the very hair on her head yeah. I kissed, I kissed them all over and brother and took ointment I'm brother and placed upon them I'm brother and the men of the house looked at it and said don't you know before you, <laughs> don't you know who it is at your feet and Jesus perceiving them? Yeah. <laughs> he looked at them both. He looked at them and he began to tell them a little story. Yeah. He said there was a certain creditor. He said, and these two men, one owed 50 pence and another owed 500. And it said that it was collection time. Yeah. It's time to get their payment, and both these men, they came to that creditor. They didn't have a cent to pay with. No doubt fear for their lives, what's yeah. going to be done to us. And he said that creditor, he looked at both of the men, and he said, you're dead, it's forgiven. Oh, yeah. Brother and Jesus looked at him, and he said, which of those two men do you think loved the most? Brother, and then he looked at him, and he looked at Jesus, and he said, I guess the one that he forgave the most. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "Here, here's what's going on here. He said, you've invited me into your home. He said, you've given me no water to wash with. Yeah. Brother, and this woman, since a minute she yeah. come in, she washed me with the tears from her eyes. He said, no yeah. kiss have you given me. Yeah. Uh, but this seen. woman, since a minute she came yeah. in, yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen from kissing yeah. my feet. Yeah. I'm brother in all ointment, did you know oil did yeah. you offer me? I'm brother and if she was willing to give everything she had. Yeah. Uh, guess what? Uh, I'm brother and I like know you. how she felt, brother, because I've been like that. Yeah. I'm yeah. brother and I felt like I came to a point in my life where my dad uh, uh, surely it was gonna come time to yeah. pay with. Yeah. Uh, I'm brother and surely the collector was gonna come. Yeah. Uh, and guess what? I found myself penniless. Yeah. I'm going to thank God today God that my Lord and my Savior yeah. doesn't require payment of these things. Yeah. He they said, just did. love me. Just give me your heart. And yeah. guess what? That's good yeah. enough Anything for me. Right. Just love me. Give me everything. Yeah. God is so good to His children. Yeah. Yes, He is. He said to cast your cares upon me, for I care for you today. Never found a man standing out there beating me, telling me everything that I've done wrong. I already knew. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I already was feeling condemned when I began to pray. Yeah. When I truly began to pray with my heart. Yeah. I already felt it. Yeah. Felt like Brother Chris must be spent. Must have a little recorder in my room. Yeah. Because everything he's preaching about 
I'm, I'm crying about all week long. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. guess oh, what? There was no recorder in there telling them. But there was a man standing there. Yeah. There was yeah. that same man that the preacher is listening to, Lord. Uh, Lord, I don't know their hearts. I don't know what they need. Uh, would you guide me today? Guess yeah. what? Uh, my Lord is still walking around. I know that it can get uh, it can get a little down and out. When I was a young man, we had us a little church up in Michigan when yeah. I was just a young yeah. boy. I watched my family leave and start a little church, just a handful of us out every Sunday. Yeah. My mother knew when I was about 15, I ran away from home. And, and I quit going to that little church. I'm uh, brother, but when I turned 20 years old, brother, and a little bit after, uh, I began to go back to that church. Yeah. And, and, and brother, and that Preach. love that was in that little yeah. church. Yeah. I'm uh, brother, but what I want you to know is when I come back that church, uh, uh, there was still about a handful out. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, brother, and I begin to go to that church uh, every Sunday with my wife over here. Uh, I had us a little newborn that we brought out there. Yeah. I'm brother and begin to raise right in that little church. Uh, and brother, and about two to three years later, brother, and God's hand must have begun to move. Uh, I'm brother, because the waters were stirred and they was yeah. jumping. Uh, yeah. Have you ever walked yeah. around a little pond? Uh, I'm brother, and about a dozen frogs is jumping left and right. Uh, I'm brother, yeah. and that's how I feel sometimes. God's spirit can work. Yeah. Uh, guess what? I know that it can get a little down and out. Uh, I'm brother and looking to one another. Are we just preaching to ourselves again? Uh, 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 but guess what? I have news for you today. I got a little daughter that I brought out to that church. Uh, uh, I'm the only one I don't have with me. You know, she's 15 years old now. Uh, and when she goes to church with us every Sunday, guess what? Uh, I know that you can get weak right here. Uh, but I guess about three different times now. I watch that little girl of mine, not so little anymore. Yeah. I, I sit over on the side and tears were flowing down her face. Yeah. I, I, guess what? I, I don't get weak here. Yeah. I don't get down and out because guess what? Yeah. I, I, you're working for something. Yeah, right. What are you going to do yeah, if you don't right. have If you don't have it here yeah. when you need it. Yeah. I, I guess what? There is a, a purpose today. Yeah. Guess what? Children are old enough. I need to rest secure. I know him. That guess what? I know where my babies is going to church. I've got a place where we can teach them about God today. I guess what? Let one of those little children a tear flow. And guess what? You'll say I'll do it all over again. I'll go with a handful. Because guess what? It is that important today. It is. The devil's going to kick you. Amen. He's going to convince you. He's going to try anyways. That's right. There's no point. No point in it today. Let's go through the motions. I got news. Work has to be done. Yeah. Building has to be done. It's not the small picture. It's not. Well, guess what? We couldn't get them saved. They wouldn't come to the Lord today. Let's just pack it up and go home for the rest. Yeah. It's not that way. Yeah, it's not. That's right. There's a little story about a whole life is tiny. About a sower planting seeds. Yeah. Said he went out and some it fell among the wayside. The fowls, they come and they swooped it up. Ate it right there. Some fell among the thorns and they sprouted up and those thorns choked it out. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, and some fell among the stony ground. Yeah. They sprouted up and the sun came out and scorched them. Yeah. And no burned them out. They didn't have any depth to them. But it said some yeah. fell few. among the good ground. There's a few. Yeah. Do you know that I have stories here in the Word of God, Brother Jeremy? And brother, and I heard it and I knew something was about those words. Couldn't tell you what it was, but those words were so sweet. Yeah, brother, and do you know that the world it would come in and it would devour it just yeah. like that? It would stay, it would take it right away from me. Yeah. 
Because guess what? They're not always going to find good ground, but we keep sowing. We keep throwing. Uh, we keep preaching the Word of God because guess what? When it finds a good ground, some bring forth 20-fold and some bring forth 30. Yeah. Yeah. Some bring forth 60. Yeah. God knows what we stand in need of today. Yes, He does. Amen. He is good to us. Coming out here, driving a few hours, God didn't owe me a thing when I said, look here. Yeah, I, was, I was blessed when I woke up. When I heard all yeah. my children are safe. <laughs> Guess what? I one had more, more, one more, time. more blessings than I even deserved. Didn't deserve anything when I got up here. And guess what? We none do. Yeah. But God still loves to bless His children. Yeah, does. I'm glad that I don't get the fit judgment for me. I'm glad that I don't get always what I deserve. Because guess what? Sometimes you'll see me yeah. stand up and shout, brother. Yeah. Sometimes you'll say, Mike, he just, he just shouts as loud as he can. He preaches and screams at you. And you know why I do that sometimes, yeah. brother? Because sometimes I sit over in my seat and I think, Lord, oh Lord, all week long, I did, I did nothing for you, Lord. Uh, God, I don't deserve yeah. a thing for you. And I would stand up here and, and his sweet spirit would move in. And uh, that's why I would begin to scream the way yeah. I do. Uh, because I would be in awe of his mercy right here before you. Yeah. Uh, thank God I don't deserve yeah. these things. Uh, but you still give them to me anyways. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, help me to be a father like you. Uh, uh, help me to be a dad like that. Yeah. Because yeah, you're the best I know. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know this man named Jesus, if you don't understand what the brothers are, <coughs> are preaching to you about, you don't have to take our word for it. God is right there for you. That's right. Amen. He'll be right there to listen to you as He did each and every one of these men and women. Amen. You brothers can go ahead and get you a song. That's by your heart. Oh. I'm thankful to be out here. Thankful to get to be back at this church. Glad to see you. Glad to see you one more time. Yeah. Men and women standing for the Lord. Doesn't take a great big multitude. The Spirit doesn't grow by each person that comes in. It doesn't shrink by the ones that didn't. It is the Spirit of God. Yeah, that's right. It is that's just right. He'll be to you what you let him to be. He'll be as close to you as you allow him in your life. And he'll be as far from you as you want him to be. That's right. And I'm thankful for that. Your brothers go ahead and sing. The church doors are open.